Hello again, everyone. Some time ago, um, a comment on one of my videos was, um, well, a suggestion, really. Um, I had been given a gift, or sent it from France, of this. It's furniture wax, in fact, but you can mix it together with pigment powders to make gilding wax. So I'm going to be using this for a very long time to come, I think, because there's absolutely loads in there. It's made by Liberon and it's called Syrah Effie. So anyway, that apart, the suggestion was that you could use household items-ish um, to try and achieve the same goal. And what it was, was hand cream and white glue, school glue, PVA glue. I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work, whether it's not. But, you know, who knows? If you don't try, you don't know, do you? So I thought we would do, would do just that. I've got a little pot here. These are just little, I think they're meant for ring findings or, you know, jewellery findings or something. I don't know. But I thought if I've got any left over, I can just seal it up and uh, keep it for the next time. So I've got a whole bunch of these. So we'll just see how we go on. First of all, it, the lady said... I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly who it was. Um, but the, the suggestion was half and half of white glue and hand cream. So let's just see. This is going to take a long time to come. It's been um, in my possession for a long time and it's done really well. It hasn't, I might still managed to use the uh, applicator thing on the end, the nozzle. I should have had it upside down for a bit, shouldn't I? To try and get, let's just do that. Let's see if I can just, I don't know if I can type it. I've had trouble with my hand today. I do sympathize with, with people who are struggling with painful hands. Today, this, this, this fat part of my hand here is giving me a bit of trouble. So we will see. Let's put this one in first. This is um, Body Shop Hemp, hardworking hand protector. There we go, so let's try this. Oh, it's a pretty colour. It's kind of greeny. <laughs> let's, I don't know if that'll make a difference to the finished effect. Let's try this. See if I can do this. There we go. Right, let's have an equal part of white glue. Oh, perhaps I'll do it without the actual thing on the end. Let's try. It's getting a bit old. Oops. And I think that's a bit much. I'll scoop some into something else. Let's get another one of those things. It's useful for something else, won't it? There's another one of these. Now which way does it open? There we go. Let's pour some of the glue into this one. Is that about equal now? Maybe. Let's try. Okay. I have put a penny on today. Um, I don't know if you know what a penny is, people from the other side of the pond. A penny is short. Um, the, short the shortened version of the word pinafore. And a pinafore is like an apron that you wear over the whole of the front of you. It's got a bib and a bottom. So that's a, a pinafore. Just shows we've got the same language, but it's completely different words, isn't it? Your pinafore is what we call... Um, no, what... Our pin... Let me just think. I, I got this all sorted out in my head a minute ago. Um, our pinafore dress, you call a jumper... The thing we call a jumper, you call a sweater. Um, <laughs> trying to think. Anyway, let's just see. So here's my little mix. So I've got some hand cream and some white glue. So I'm just going to mix these together. I've used the wrong end of this because the right end makes a terrible scratchy noise. So let's just see. I, don't, I, I mean, I, I really don't know if this is going to work or not. I, I, I don't know if I've got the proportions right or anything else, really. But um, if I don't, if I 
I don't try it, I won't know, will I? So, let's just see. Let's have a something to put this down. I've cut out, what, what I want to do today is to make, uh, this is a, a gummy pan die of a, a watering can. And in my handy little tray that Anne sent me, I've got various things. I've got some little plants that I've die cut there. I've got my Art Impressions pebbles that there. And I've got a little sponge here that I, I intend using this glaze with onto the watering can. So I, I think I didn't tell you where I was going really with this, did I? So I want to put the watering can together. Um, I'm going to have the watering can in the corner, pebbles around here like this, and just some flowers sticking in the watering can. That's all. And a simple sentiment. And uh, as yesterday's card, I used one of these. If you've got a small design um, and lots of white space, you don't want the sentiment to... Oh, well, I don't. I don't want the sentiment to overpower the whole design. So some of these very small ones like this, I think are fabulous. This set, I don't know if it's still made... It's Sugar Pea Designs and it's called Everyday Sentiments. And there's something there for pretty much anything you'd want, really. So, you know, I just love these. You can see I've had them a fair old time. Um, the, the, lots, the ones that haven't been used are almost the, the original colour. But um, once they've been in the air, I don't know whether it's oxidisation or what, but they go kind of yellowy. Anyway, that was that, which is a bit of a... A, you know different thing altogether so I want to make a, a, a silvery black glaze so what I thought I would use is a bit of this one which is called blackbird these are um, indigo blue I have some blackbird and with that I thought I'd put some silver should have done the silver first shouldn't I so I wouldn't make a mess into this one all right, let me just wipe this tip. Okay, add a bit of silver. Go more like that, I think. Okay, now I'm going to mix it up and see what colour it comes out as. Okay, here we go, let's do it over here. It's not bad, not bad for colour, is it really? Although whether it'll dry this colour, I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. I'm glad I've got a little pot for it because I may be able to save some of it because I'm not going to be using all of this. And it's difficult to pour out less than I actually did. Right, let's just see if I can get some of this back in. That's, that's the one I was after. Right. Just see if I can get this back in. There we go. This one, the square one, I bought in Craft Stash, which is just like a little mat for mixing paint or doing smooshing, all that kind of stuff. But the bigger one, I thought, you know, I don't need to buy any. It's a piece of packaging from a die, I think it is. So, you know, there are ways around these things. Okay, I'm just going to put this on one side because I'm just now going to layer up my, let's put that over there, my um, watering can. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. All right, here we are. Now, what I want to do is stack two as is and the top layer, I just want to put the spout and the handle so they look a little bit closer to the to the camera to the camera to the eye to whatever else good job i've got an apron on isn't it really i am absolutely now this is hard today because my hand is hurting and i left the cap off this last night so let's just see Let me use the other one because I just haven't got the strength in my hand today. Might have to get the precision press out, mightn't I, at this rate? I said yesterday I can't be as precise with that as I can with um, one of these. But um, I do see the point where people say, you know, it's hard to, to squeeze. So here we go. 
I'd left the, 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 the um, stopper off that one last night, so I may need to get a pin just to sort it out. Okay, let's put that one on the top. Right, now this one I want to... Uh, cannibalize and it's just one last tiny little snip and I can put that on there it's an extra layer so it does look as if it's further forward and the handle off the top so snip and there's a little bit here and a little bit there there we go they're so clever these dies I have to say just so so clever Right, let's glue this one. I did wonder about messing about with a little bit of um, whether to do an extra bit again on the on the on the rows, but I don't know. We'll see. Do Americans call this bit the rows? Canadians, Australians, we call that bit the rows of a a watering can. It's what makes the water flower, kind of thing. Right, put that on here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this colour all over this mixture. I thought I would try and use that little um, bit of cut up dish, dish sponge. That's hard to say. Dish sponge. So, um, We'll see how we go with that, but I've also got out this pigment powder, which is called Rusty Bucket. And I was wondering whether, after I've covered this with that mixture, whether I can just drop a bit of powder on in odd places to make it look like, you know, dots of, of rust. Do you see what I'm trying to get at, you know? So we'll we will see. Let's just let's just see how we get on. Getting a bit of a pickle, but um, I'll try my best. Maybe should have had um, gloves on. I don't know. So let's take a bit of this, and we'll colour the Well, I'm glad I um, put it in a. Oops. That's coming off in a little pot to keep some because I don't need all of this, do I? I don't want to obscure the design because lots of these um, dies have got embossed lines on which add incredible detail to them. I've got kind of lines from dragging the sponge. I don't know. Let me close that up because I don't think I need any more of that. There we go. Get a wet wipe. What do we think about this? I don't know if I like that or not, but we'll, we'll press on and see. Um, let's try this. This is what I'm, and I don't know quite how to apply this. If I get a very small brush, I can perhaps just dab it up. Let me move this card base before I mess that up. A um, very small brush. How, what, what kind of, um, what should I use? Maybe a white tabby one like this. Look at the state of me. Often rust happens where there are joins or kind of rivets. You know, do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what I think of this really. It looks a bit grainy. Um, whereas a, 
a regular gilding wax would be smooth. I don't think. Let me put a glove on. I don't know whether. Let's just see. Oh, just wondering if I use a finger. It would be any. Oh, that's better. Look, isn't it? That's better. Oh, my goodness, what a difference. Look, that's brilliant. The sponge was obviously the wrong thing to apply it with. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Oh, I like that now. That was worth the effort. Okay, let's put all this lot away. I think this, the brush worked to add a bit of that rusty, rusty bucket colour. So the sponge was a, a bit of a no-no, really. So, although it did put it on in the first place. So let me just put that away for a minute because that, I think, will need time to dry. So I may have to stop and then start again after I've given that time to, to dry. OK, the next thing I want to do is my card front basically let me close this bit of glue up like this because otherwise that's going to dry up too so i'll just clean this up and i'll be back with my card front well i'm all cleaned up um i've cleared the space i've got my card panel here i've got my flat die cut flowers and um a lot of you probably know that i i nearly always like to stack die cuts to make them a little bit more sort of vital a bit more um dimensional but i want to get them into this watering can and the hole is there and it's not huge so i am not going to stack these i am just going to color them so for the i think i'm for the colors on these i'm going to use my alcohol pens for clean and simple, I'm very, <clears throat> I'm very keen on keeping a color color palettes minimal. So <clears throat> I know it's not probably botanical, botanically correct, but I'm going to color both sets of these flowers in the same color but different shades. So I thought I'd choose kind of a purpley color. And looking on my chart here, I thought I'd go with wild thistle and lavender sky okay wild thistle and lavender sky there's wild thistle and where is love there's lavender sky okay so we're going to have those and the stems i think we're just i could do with a bluish sort of green um is there anything on there think aqua spray it's just really pale is that aqua spray no that's pea pod oh that's aqua spray looks blue doesn't it is it green oh it is greeny okay let's use that right here we go so wild thistle I don't know which one's which really which should I use for which Perhaps I'll just add a bit of the other colours too, just to, let's just see. I don't like using just one flat colour. I like to make things a bit more kind of interesting, really. Let's just see. Let's put a bit of that there. I think I'll put some other colours in with them, actually. They're pretty, though. Um, so what shall we put with which? Let's have Violet Breeze with that one. I'm looking at this here. That's Violet Breeze. We're going to put those two together. Violet Breeze, where are you? Here you are. Right. There we go. Just 
just bits and pieces. I could perhaps use this one in this one as well. Let's just see. Yeah, I think we can. Just add a bit more of the deeper one to that left hand side. There we go. There we are. Now we use this one for the stems. It is pale, isn't it? You'll be fine. They're quite nice together, don't they? <laughs> don't know if they're all going to fit in. We'll see. What should we do with this one? Uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at this. It's kind of got to go with that. They look a bit incongruous with the rust, but never mind. We'll see. Let's just do this. Let's do a brown. Let's just do a brown one. There's a deep brown. And we've got rich walnut here. will do nicely okay now to see if we can get them in I don't know if this is actually dry I've put a color in the wrong place that's the one put a brown in with the purples that will never do right now can I get these in here then I'm going to bend it slightly I'm not going to use an embossing tool but I do want to give it a little bit of dimension, so let's just see how we go. Um, I think I'll start by putting some adhesive on the back. Some of this, so that when I get the stems in, they can be grabbed by this adhesive. Okay, let's just see. Bend it again. Okay. Make my... There we go. That's where they've got to go in. And I want some to go. Actually, let's do this. So it looks like it's behind the handle. I want to put them in all over the place, Joe. It just looks a bit kind of random. Let's just see. That's got that leaf which is going to keep it poked out a bit more, so that's fine. Let's just take this through this way. I'd have to make a bit more of a space. Dear me, there we go. It's kind of flimsy where I got it wet with the, um, let's try this way if I can't get it through. There we go. We won't bother about the handle. Right, here we go. Let's try and get this one through that way. That will be good. Which is, which is it? This one. Can't see it. Where are you? There it is. Okay. Right. Let's just move them around a little bit. There we go. Just a bit higher. There. Ah. Looks a bit random, doesn't it? Right, now then, a piece of foam tape down the centre because I want to 
glue the sides down but I want a little bit of a bit of you know bit, uh, relief in the middle so let's put that down there and then we can put some glue over the back of these to keep those in place that are not all together and some glue around the outside there but before I stick it on I want to put some of the stamping of the um, pebbles just as a, a bit of grounding. So if that's going to go kind of there, um, okay, I'll take it up across and, all right. Now, one of my favorite colors is pumice stone. So we will have some of this. wondering about just just something a little darker a lot no perhaps not perhaps we'll just just kind of leave it at that quick while you're ahead okie dokie that can go there so I'll stick that down I think so glue to the four just a little dab here and there Now to take off the backing. Probably should have taken that off first. Okay. Looks kind of random, doesn't it? There we go. Just need to hold that down. I love the fact, I love the effect on that watering can. I think that's cool. So I think the <clears throat> hand cream and white glue is quite a good notion. Now for a sentiment. Just put that up there for a minute. And I think I've got a piece of scrap here. So let's choose a sentiment. What shall we have? Could be happy retirement or... Ooh, could be anything really, couldn't it? Or a happy birthday, or oh, hooray, here for you, you're a star. Sending love, sending hugs. Happy retirement, that would be quite a good one. Thanks a bunch. Let's do thanks a bunch, I like that one. It doesn't look as if I've used it much, actually. Thanks a bunch. Let's get a little, a little block. And I think we'll do it in Versifying Claire, black one. Let's see. Okay. Just leave it a moment just to make sure that the ink has had time to, <laughs> to leave the stamp and that's fine. Or is it? Is that a little time? I need my glasses on, really. It looks like there's a tiny dot just above the edge. Let's try it again. It's still there. Let me wipe it. Above the edge of thanks, it looks like there's a tiny, a tiny little bit of fluff or something or something. So let's just try again. <clears throat> Just dry that with my penny. Okay. I'll try again. That's better. I think that's okay. So, cut that out. I'll stick down one end and then 
um, do the other end in a moment. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I didn't think my magic mats were, you know, as good as they had, were when I first bought them. And someone said to me, um, "What? soak them in hot water. Well, I had mentioned, I thought perhaps I should have washed them. Um, and that's in fact just what I did today. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, I did wash them. I gave them a scrub with a, a nail brush and uh, let, let them have a soak in hot water. So we'll just see how they get, get on today. I think it could be a combination of things. The fact that, you know, my plates are getting warped. Uh, so we'll see. Right. Take it off that end. Turn it round, put it round the other end, and then we'll cut again. Just make sure that the distance from the end of the die cut is the same. I don't think that's going to stick. Let's just put another bit on. Okay. So, we're nearly there. Thanks a bunch. So we stick that on with some foam tape. I think it makes all the difference, just raising it up, just that little tiny bit. That's why I like the sticks to tape, because it's not very deep. This is quite narrow too, which I rather like. So. Thanks a bunch. And my card base is here. Is it the right way up? No. Nope. It's as well if I get it the right way up, isn't it? I think that's quite pretty. Um. I will put some foam tape on this because it is skinny. So. Looks like I've trapped a hair there. Must be molting. There it is. Okay. Stuck to my finger. Okay. Good -o. Well, I think that experiment worked. I think the mix of um, white glue and hand cream looks like it's made a nice, it's not coming off. Excellent. Excellent. So thank you, whoever that was, who mentioned that to me. So I think a lot of other people will be pleased about that too, because not everybody can get furniture wax from France, can they? <laughs> So, thank you so much um, for the suggestion. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and if you have watched regularly and you haven't subscribed, I would be really grateful if you could. It would uh, help the old YouTube algorithm enormously. So, as ever, thanks so much and I'll see you next time.